Choose your fighter. Thelonious. Plan monster. Stupid cowboy. Spyro villain. Knock fear and knock fear. Ghost banana. Fat predator. The R &R. Hey, yo, yo, you, yo! Welcome back to R and R Reviews, my friendly chicklets, corn nuggets, and bipedal aquapods. And I'm sorry to you, desclopedals, that that may offend. After a few weeks off, we're dropping back in with another review, like someone did a reverse uppercut on us. And this week we checked out Mortal Kombat! Yes, I know, it's another HBO Max movie. But how can we deny them when they are putting such iconic films out? And if it makes you feel any better, we are seeing them in cinema. So, if you want to kill the theaters, you'll have to pry them from my dead cold fingers coated in butter from overpriced popcorn and sticky spilt soda. Ew. We gave Mortal Kombat! Tink, 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 apart. Time to go home there, Bob. Or three out of five, flawless victories. Fight! You weak, pathetic fools, I've come for your souls. I don't think so. The movie didn't have an incredible story, but let's be honest, the expectation bar was very low in that field. We did greatly enjoy the Scorpion Sub-Zero story arc, but that's about it. We don't get a ton of character development, but we do get tons of characters, which was great, and almost all of them were perfect. We thought the cast played really well into those characters, and we only thought one really lacked. And to avoid being rude, we won't mention him by name. Uh, Hayden. <sighs> Sorry guys. The score was meh, but we all know we were just waiting to hear Techno Syndrome, better known as Mortal Kombat. Tink 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 tink. And you do get to hear it. And you might even enjoy it if you enjoy crappy EDM covers. Me myself, I prefer the OG, but to each their own. Where the film really pays off the most is the fighting, which is what we all came to see. I mean, you can take the story out completely. And we get some great scenes tossed in with some awesome video game callbacks, some neat easter eggs, and some very iconic lines dropped. All in all, the movie was exactly what we expected to get, and it was enjoyable. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and just appreciate that it was better than the 90s versions. Although, those are two terrible movies that I love. So, should you see it? Most definitely if you are an MK fan. If not, it's really just a toss up. Well, sirloins, robux, and peeps, that's really all I got to say about that. We hope you enjoyed this pointless reviews, and remember that the man that bridges the gap between the fill the fly, the fly fly fly. Stay cool, enjoy nature, and remember, it's always a beautiful day in the cinema hood. <laughs> Bob! You just spilt my coffee! What? Oh, there's no use in crying over spilt milk. There's no use in crying over spilt milk, guys. Well, that was sugar, too. Get over here! Technically, I could be shirtless saying these lines and it wouldn't even matter because you're not going to put that in the video and I could just be like, we saw Mortal Kombat and we thought it was good. <laughs>